Hello everyone, this is Apartment on Wheels, and we got this episode today of how about uh, bed bugs and also scabies from road vehicles and, you know, uh, camper vans. Is it possible? I think so. Um, something like this, if you don't keep this thing clean or you don't even take bleach to it. This is, uh, this is the bed right here. Let me try to get up so you guys can see it a little bit better here. Um, see a little bit better? Okay, so this is the bedding here. That's why you put blankets and stuff like that and sheets like this on top of it. Uh, this is the seat over here. And look at the way these seats are. Okay, um... The reason I'm just contacting people and we're doing this video here is because uh, I do believe scabies can be passed on through from other people, and especially if they've been here. Recently, I went to go see the doctor because I've been itching lately. Uh, I don't know if it was soap detergent or whatever it was from, but it's very possible. Uh, something like this, you actually, like I said, you want to try to get a, a spray ball and try to either spray it down with some bleach, I mean, every area, or you want to get a... Uh, um, um, uh, rug cleaner, you know what I'm talking about, upholstery cleaner, the same thing that you can turn around, you can uh, run the machine to get this all cleaned up, because even curtains like this, you don't know when the last time that they were washed, you know what I mean, or when they were touched, uh, I had the little segment here where the mouse was, was living up here, underneath this, uh, headliner up here, okay, right there, so, um, I do believe mice carry scabies, to be honest with you, because if you go into a lot of houses where they're, uh, where they're uh, out in the woods, uh, you know, you start sitting on furniture out there and stuff like that, you start sleeping on beds, you do catch scabies. Uh, <clears throat> and I also believe they got some type of fleas and stuff like that. So what you have to do is if you uh, start finding like mice and stuff like that, you're gonna have to start cleaning up. I mean, I'm definitely doing it because I gotta, you know, I gotta tear the whole van apart. I gotta go through the whole damn thing. I gotta uh, repair it. Uh, you know, rebuild it. I'm doing the restoration. But uh, you know, it is you. You can. I mean, there's there's no ifs or buts about it. You can catch scabies. Bed bugs. I've already lived in a couple of places. That's why I don't really care about living in a couple of places. It's more when, when there's a lot of people traveling in and out. Uh, they originally came from England, um, and uh, what else? Oh, uh, cats and dogs are the ones that bring them into your house. That's how they get inside your house. It's, uh, so uh, bed bugs, they can hide pretty good. And I'll tell you what, when they bite, I've had allergic reactions where I've had to go to the hospital to uh, get a shot because of, uh, you know, because of an infection, because of the bites. So you have to turn around and try to like i said you gotta you, you know you gotta if you get something like this you don't know about it too good me what i'm gonna actually do is i'm gonna burn this couch i don't even want this damn thing to be honest with you all these curtains are gonna go anything in here that's cloth including the seats the rugs everything's coming up and it's gonna go into the garbage and i'm gonna start fresh uh when you get into doing the couches and seats like this over here what you actually want to be doing is you want to either be running leather or vinyl so it doesn't get into the cushion. See, the cushion, this is cushion right here. It's okay. But if they get inside of there and they start burrowing inside of there, they can start. That whole thing can be completely filled with probably about a million bed bugs and who knows how many scabies, if you know what I'm saying. So um, if you have any questions, get back to me. The, the only reason I just want to bring up this topic, it's not just because of the person is dirty. It's because if it's either something, you know, deplorable that they don't know about, like a toilet could be leaking, coming into the floors right here, into the rugs. Uh, you know, there could be water coming down the pipes. There could be mice living over here. There could have been somebody else with other stuff that hasn't washed this in a while. This could have been stored for a long time. There could have been mice living in here where, you know, bringing in their fleas and their scabies and stuff like that. So that's the only reason I just want to bring up this topic so you guys know. It's just like uh, you can also catch scabies from a handshake and a hug. So, you know, you guys have to realize something in life. I don't know about you young, young kids, but uh, you don't want to be going out in the field if you want to have your little fun on some bed or some couch that's out there, some chair, or some vacant house because, you know, a lot of that furniture is out there for a reason because they already got bugs and they got rid of the damn thing. You know, they're not just going to bring it out to the woods so you guys can have your fun on there. And vacant houses, like I said, when you go to there or even vacant garages, 
most likely there's going to be scabies in there because there's mice and everything else running through there and rats, okay? So if you got any questions, post them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoy the video and I, I hope you give me a thumbs up and uh, make, sure, uh, make sure you have yourselves a great day. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye.